Hello everyone, this is CTJet99, and welcome back. So, in this episode of Principia Let's Make, I am going to teach you how to make a hovercraft. Now, we're going to be using, if I go in here, rockets and thrusters as propellant. Not fans, I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of fans. Don't judge me. It's alright. So the first thing we need to get is our rockets and thrusters and junk and whatever. Can I copy and paste? Oh no, that's just up and down. Okay. I don't know. I haven't really looked up the codes. I'm just guessing here. Uh, so I'm going to get two more of each because I can. Like that. Don't judge me. Hey, you could judge me, I guess. It's freedom of speech in America and freedom of thought and whatever junk. Tasty. So, there's. We're gonna do this two ways. We're gonna use proximity sensors, and we're gonna use tiltometers. I need another proximity sensor. Haha. <laughs> okay. So, what a proximity sensor does is it gives you a value depending on how far away from an object it is, uh, between 1 and 0. So it's an analog device. So let's put this range down to 0. Let's just make a simple, simple thing that's really high. And it also detects ground, too, which is nice. <clears throat> so let's put this into there. Let's put this thrust pretty low, like 2. So as you can see, it kind of goes up and down. As you can see, that's kind of it uh, outputs. So the closer it gets, the uh, I can't think. The higher the signal is. If we hook up a grapher and we face this down, just so you can get a clear picture, you'll see that the value goes up. Well, how do we use this? Well, first of all, where my thing go? No, I deleted it. Crap. <laughs> nope. Still can't copy it. Thruster. Ha ha ha. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a basic bed. Now, this is a really simple method. Let's see. Planks. Thruster. Oops, where'd it go? Crap. Glitchiness of glitch. Sweetness. Sauce. Put that there. So now, you got a bed that flies up. Let's hook these up to proximity sensors. So, let's put this length down to 5. 3. Let's put this length down to three. And let's hook it up. And let's hook it up. Now it's a hovercraft. Now it's pretty unstable. <laughs> As you can see. But it works. It hovers. Let's put a robot on there something. No, 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 I got a better idea. Glitchiness. Let's put dummy. Let's get a nice gray going on here. Let's go right about there. Let's put the... that down there. Okay, it's over here, is where I want it. Nice gray. So, let's make this guy see. Cool. Oh, well, that'll work. <laughs> nice. Yeah, party. Party in the club. Party in the club. Okay. That's 
interesting. Let's place him in his seat. As you can see, that method works. Let's make him be able to drive around. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the what's from robotics. I clicked one. Too low. RC basic. And let's use a rocket because we can. Let's hook that up to output one. Put a thrust control widget or uh, whatever control widget. Let's put this up to five, six, uh, six, and then let's put the range up so that it's about there. So 0.30. And what this is going to do is this is going to give us a. It's going to help even it out. Because reasons. We have to put this up a little bit. So 14. 14. No, still not enough. How about 18? And 18. That's got to be good. Okay. So let's bring this guy down. So you can have a nice good nice takeoff. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Well, that didn't work. How about we put this one thrust up a little bit more so that way it's not leaning back so much. Now we got a nice even cover crap. Maybe a little bit less. A little blip. Oh. That's perfect. Oops. Got too close to the wall. There we go. So now we've got a hovercraft. Boop. No, get out of here, dummy. We don't love you. We don't love you. What happens if we put this rocket up to max thrust? Oops. Keep forgetting that's happening. Let's start it off on a slight rotation. Perfect. Dummy? Dummy? Dummy, are you with, with me? Dummy? Dummy? No! Alright. So. That's our first one. I'm gonna delete his seat because we don't love him anymore. So. No more, no more proximity sensors. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a tiltometer. Let's get rockets. And you could use thrusters too. I just like rockets better because they're pretty. So we're going to have to mount this off center from the center of gravity, which means uh, its center of gravity is somewhere right around here. So we have to mount it so it's not. Uh, in that zone because otherwise it's just gonna push so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our outputs I'm gonna hook them up that has too much thrust let's put it down to eight and eight well that doesn't work anymore what's this one at 18 and 18 I had the one higher So now, let's hook these guys up to actually let's get go into signal, misc, get a Y splitter, hook it up to output one, hook these up. So this is gonna split the value again, like I said in the last tutorial. So now, if we lift off, should keep us aligned. We can put more thrust into those. 24. 24. And why not also take control of these and move them, or take advantage, not control. Move them up. So now we've got a hovercraft that doesn't technically hover, but we get to control its height. So let's make it hover. 
Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to take a proximity sensor again. I know, I know. It's all my fault. You guys are judging me. I said don't. So, whatever. But, also, while we're at it, let's uh, go into little properties. I'm going to go to world. Top order, let's just add a zero. Okay. So now, let's go into our, a, mechanics, let's just put a thruster here, thruster here, let's hook it up to the, a splitter, that's at the top, I know what I'm doing guys, I'm a certified professional. Not a regular one, I'm certified. Oh wait, and then we have to hook it up to the proximity sensor. There we go. Barely hovers. 18 and 18 again. Sounds like a good number. Ah, look. Now I can also con oops. I was if you guys have any ideas, please post them on this level. But yeah, we have a we have another hovercraft. Cool. But now let's do one more thing. Let's remove this Y splitter. Let's bring it down. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into, I believe it's Robotics? No? Is it a signal mask? It's called a half unpack. Half pack, is that what it is? Nope, that's not it. It's a half unpack. Uh, signal mask. Input one, I'll put two, I bet. Or input. Where is it? Somewhere in here. I'm going to let you guys see my my pain on here okay I'm gonna I'll be right you know what screw this oops no is it still recording yes it is okay I accidentally hit space on the wrong thing it always hit space now, unpack. Here it is. It looks like a Y splitter. So now, let's plug this in. Uh, plug this in. Input. And output. So what this does is we have to move this over to the middle about there. So now any value. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. You have to be careful with this, it's kind of feathery. Well, that's interesting, it's kind of inverted. Oh, because it's trying to realign itself, I see. I see how this is going. Okay. <laughs> okay, so half unpack, what it does is it takes a value, and if that value is unequal to 0.5, then it'll put it out to either one. So if it's below 0.5, it'll put it out to the left, which will go to this one. And if it's above 0.5, uh, it'll go to the right one. Now, as you saw, it, it was kind of inverted, but we don't need an inverter on the... We could put an inverter, I guess, but let's just flip them. So now, if we want to head left, or we want to head right... <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's put these down to like 10. I haven't ever used a half unpack before too, guys, so... This is new for me as well. Oh, I did it! Okay. Woo! Yeah, I'm doing it. Alright. So that has been the video. 
I'm going to upload this for you guys. So if you enjoyed, please stop by and look at uh, look at it, bleh, or you know just watch the YouTube video right now that you're watching. All right, guys. So this has been CT Jet 99 signing off. I have a video that I would like you guys to see. It's going to be up in the top right corner right here, maybe, possibly. Could we do that? No, maybe. Yes, okay. So, right there. Uh, I suggested the chord progression. And DX Gamer... No. Operation DX1. Okay. His name is DX Gamer or Operation DX1. Uh, he turn it into music for me, and it's put to a really nice Space Engineers thing, so I'd, I hope you guys go check that out. Uh, thanks guys for watching. This has been CTJet99, signing off.